As Senate Republicans bring in DOJ, bring in Merrick Garland, only to attack him and propagate far-right lies and conspiracies spread by Fox News and other radical outlets, everybody looks to the king of the libturns. How do we interpret this? What's the takeaway and what's the hot takes? Well, how much time do you got? Well, first of all, there's the blatant optics of obstruction of justice here. They have scheduled this as close to the indictment of Donald Trump as possible. We've seen the way they badgered the witness, Merrick Garland, and it can Considering the way they badgered the witness, Merrick Garland, this looks like an attempt to obstruct justice, to intimidate him, and scare him out of prosecuting Donald Trump, and not one person address the elephants in the room. Insurrectionists like Josh Howley, people like Lindsey Graham. Graham went down to Georgia, he was looking for some votes. They couldn't ask about the actual weaponization, the fact that these people are still walking free years later. And then, 207 times, Merrick Garland had to correct them. No, that is not the way the FBI accounts for this. No, that is a conspiracy theory. No, you're lying. And they kept attacking him, asking him the same questions over and over. And what I want to know is, like, when they do this, is there some secret person, uh, Rupert Murdoch or someone, receiving crypto from Vladimir Putin for attacking our institutions? I thought that was the job that Putin was supposed to take care of, not people working in our own government. But my hottest take of all... I want to point to you something subtle, because throughout this hearing, we see a common trend that, hey, you know what, the DOJ doesn't have infinite resources. They're all asking about an awful lot of crimes here, fentanyl to protecting Supreme Court justices. And here we are, they're wasting taxpayer money asking him about right-wing talking points and conspiracies that he has to again and again to say, well, that's not true. And on top of that, think of all the frivolous lawsuits launched by Donald Trump and this ring of people who they were proven again and again to be wrong in a court of law. And I mean, hell, they even had to sanction Carrie Lake from launching these frivolous lawsuits. It's one of the many ways we've seen where the Republicans' own hearings actually get reversed and it turns out that they are the cause of the problems. Marjorie Taylor Greene even has a new shirt, Defund the DOJ. And here we see another way they're defunding them by launching so many frivolous lawsuits, burning up their money, defunding our justice system, and wasting our tax money to spread these conspiracy theories in this hearing while trying to intimidate Merrick Garland out of indicting Donald Trump. That's the hot takes from the King of the Lim Turds.